Mrs. Mary over here to Images on the Page. Sorry about the noise, it is very warm up here and I don't have a fan at all, so the window is currently open because it's a bit cooler outside than it is in here. Today I'm actually going to be doing a challenge. I first saw this challenge over at Jesse the Readers. I also saw Books and Lala do that, and that is How Well Do I Know My Books Challenge. Now it's a question of well, there's 28 questions and you get a set of numbers. They both did it with their Twitter followers. I don't have enough tw Twitter followers to think that I would get that many responses. So I just bugged two of my best friends to give me about 28 numbers. I actually made them give me 32 in case some of them doesn't work out because some of these are more specified for like hardbacks, hardcovers, and I don't have that many. Like this, not even all these on this shelf is hardback. Now the way I did it was a little different. So I did, it's kind of hard to see, um, but I did it so it's one, two, three, four, and five. There's five in each bookshelf. So there's five on here, and I only actually have these three filled, so six, seven, and eight. So I did shelves. So the first set of numbers is one through eight for which shelf it is, and then I did one through 50 because as you can see I have some of them double layered, um, and instead of like being like only for these shelves one through five you have to do these numbers and then through these through these so I just did one through 50 and if it's higher than 50 on like this shelf I'll just go around until I get the right number now I hope that makes sense if not I'll kind of put the description and all the questions down below so you can kind of figure it out from the description box first question is without looking um tell what it's about first set of numbers is 212 so I'm not looking at the back. I do know this actually has the description on the back, which is why I'm holding it against my bullet journal. This is Ember Mage by Tamara Pierce, one of my favorite authors. This particular book is the third in the Immortal series. It is about Dane, who is going on a... I don't know the word for it, but it's like she's going with a whole bunch of people to the, con the um, country of Karthak to kind of negotiate with the Emperor there. And it's about her having to deal with being in a new country and kind of being given these powers that she's not supposed to have by one of the gods and just kind of the mischief she gets up to. Dane is someone who can talk to animals and so that kind of influences the mischief she can get into. And I know I got that right. I don't even need to read it. Question two is without looking it up, what is the genre of the book? Next set of numbers is 448. So 48 is The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. I would say that this is YA fantasy. You guys can all tell me if I'm wrong or not because I'm pretty sure this, this was a really popular book so most people should know it. Question three is without looking, tell us what is on the cover. And the next set of numbers is 636. Sensing a theme here. So six is here. So it's Redeeming the Lost, and so I don't look at the cover by Elizabeth Kerner. Um, what's on this cover? I know it's about dragons, so I'm guessing there's dragons on the cover with, I know the main character's female. A female? No, it's kind of wrong. There's just two dragons fighting on the cover. Really awesome dragon adult fantasy. Question four is without looking it up, what is the main character's name? Next set of numbers is 818. Okay. 18. So this is After the Night by Linda Howard, one of the few fantasies I've actually kept when I read a huge gigantic amount of fantasies. I went through like a year or so where all I read was fantasies. Main character's name is I have no idea. I think it starts with a D. We'll see. Well, let's see. Faith Devlin. Her last name starts with a D. Darn it. Without looking, name a side character. Next set of numbers is 323. I'm going to choose another book because I haven't read that one. I don't know why it's still on my shelf because I have not actually read it. So next set of numbers is 525. This is one of my Dear America stories. I don't know if any of you guys have read this, but these are kind of like 
fictionalized tellings of history. So this one has to do with World War II about um, a girl whose father is in World War II and about her having to deal with him being gone and them always being worried and just kind of what it was like in America at the time. Name a side character. I read these in like middle school. So like seventh, not even, sixth grade. No idea. Absolutely no idea. Um, I know she has like a male best friend. Theo, Clary, Johnny, and I. There we go. There's three that I didn't know. Question six is guess how many pages the book has and you have to be within like 25 on either side. So if I guess 500 and it's got 515, I win because it's within the 25 on the plus side. Next set of numbers is 313. So this is The Raven King. It is the second book in All for the Game series by Nora Skovic. I actually read this on my ebook, so I don't know. I'm guessing it's not too thick and it's kind of thick paper, so 290. I'm guessing 290. 324. That was nine off. Shoot. So question seven is without Looking it up, what rating did you give this book? And that set of numbers is 127. I don't even know if this is rated on my Goods Read. It is a graphic novel, a yaoi. So a uh, meal meal graphic novel. This is the fort. If I did rate it, I would guess I would give it a four. I'd probably give it a four. Although I did love it. So at the time, if I actually rated it, I'd probably actually give it a five. I will let you know. When I'm editing, if I got it right or not. Question eight is, without looking, where does this book take place? And the next set of numbers is 549. That, on that shelf only has like seven books on it. So I'm going to choose another number and I'll use that one for the next one. 337. I can do that. 337. This is a spinoff of the Cut and Run series by um, Abigail Rowe and Madeline Urban. It's called The Sidewinder, it has to do with Nick and Kelly. Nick is from, I want to say Boston, but I know it's where the Cunt Run series takes place. I'm guessing it's not Boston. Boston! I got it right. Number nine is without looking, what are the parents' names? 519. Well, oh, I'm not going to know that one. This is the second book in... His Dark Material series by Philip Pullman and it's focused on the main boy and I know he has a mom. He's like taking care of her in the first bit of the book but he probably just calls her mom. I don't know if she has a name. Oh dang it. It says his father's name. His father's name is John Perry. Yeah I got it wrong. Her last name is Perry at the very least. Either way I, I got it. So question 10 is Without looking, what is the color of the cover under the dust jacket? That is 724. That one doesn't have any dust jackets, so 424. Let's see if that one has dust jackets. 24 is Eon by Allison Goodman. I'm not pulling it out because I know I'll be able to see the color. I'm guessing it's red. My best guess. I know the cover is red. Let's look. Hey, look at that. It's red. It's actually a really good book. I need to read the second one. Eleven is without looking, is there anything on the hardback, like an imprint or anything like that? <clears throat> that one is 213. I'm skipping some numbers so I know what fits. 213. I don't know. I'm going to skip that one because I do not own enough hardbacks for that to really count. Question 12 is, without looking, what is the color on the hardback? What is the color of the font on the hardback? Now I'm not gonna just stick to hardbacks because we've already established I don't have enough. The next number I'm gonna do is 724. And I'm gonna see if I can, although that's kind of cheating still because color on the spine is usually the color on the front. So, I'm going to skip that one too. So question 13 is without looking. Without looking, do the chapters have titles or numbers? And the next number 
I'm going to try again is 724. Dark Side of the Moon by Sherilyn Kenyon. This is a really funny paranormal romance. I'm guessing that this just has chapter numbers, so it's say chapter 3, chapter 7. So let's look. Yep. Ha ha. See, I got it. Chapter 9. I'm sweating so much. Question 14 is without looking, is there an award on it? Next number, set of numbers we're going to do is 626. Okay, so I don't look at the front. There's the back of it. See, I can't see the front. Um, this is a fantasy that I've never heard anyone else besides myself talk about. Um, it's pretty old. I think it was really, I mean, it's a fantasy, and I don't know if they often do awards for fantasy, so I'm going to guess no. Oh! Question 15 are, without looking, are there any author blurbs on the front? And the next number is 213. So this is the fourth book in the Immortal series. I'm going to say yes, I don't know. A lot of fantasy does, so. No. No, they're on the back. Question 16 is without looking, is there a description on the back? Next number is 346. So it is a paperback version of A Closing Common Orbit by Becky Chambers, and I'm almost 100% positive that there is a description on the back because it is paperback and fantasy. Yep, there it is. Description on the back. Question 17 is without looking, is there an author photo? And then 417 is our next set of numbers. It is Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I'd be very surprised if there was not an author photo in this book. Because that's JK Rowling. Oh crap. Oh crap. Nope. <laughs> nope. Yep, nope. No author photo. At all. So... Question 18 is without looking, is this author using a pen name? 642. 642. Life Welling. This is like 5 or 6. In the Night Runner series. Um, I don't think she is. I'll have to let you know during the editing process, but I'm guessing no. Question 19 is without looking, what POV is this written in? Next set of numbers is 750. This is another Sherilyn Kenyon, another paranormal romance. This is part of her Dark Hunter series. Mm, romances are often written in first person, but it's paranormal. I want to say it's written in third. Yes! I am right. See? I don't know if it will focus, but yep. Question 20 is, without looking, are there any pictures or graphics in this book? And we are on 827. This is All That Glitters by Linda Howard, also one of my favorite one of my favorite romances, um, back when I did that huge, I just basically had like one whole shelf was just Linda Howard because I read like everything she ever published. I'm gonna, since it's a romance, it's a contemporary romance, I'm gonna say no. Yep, not even a map. 21 is without looking, is there an epilogue? 847. Did I just do that one? No, I did 827. Oops. 225. Crap. So, this is the first book in the Circle Open series by Tamora Pierce. I would highly recommend listening to these on audiobook. They do a full cast audio, and Tamora actually, um, sorry, her name's Tamara, actually narrates it. Now, is there on... This is technically a set of four, but it follows each of the four kids respectively. So this one's Sondry's, the next one is Briar's, and then it's Dajo's, and then Triss's. So I'm going to guess yes. Guessing yes. Yes! 
ass. <laughs> Question 22 is without looking. Is there a prologue? And then 618. Is there a prologue? Oh crap. Lion of Senate by Jennifer Fallon. One of my few fantasy novels I've read that actually does not have a magic system whatsoever. Question 23 is, without looking, is this book signed? And that's 848. I can already tell you. Well, you won't believe me until I show you. But I already can tell you no because none of the books on this shelf are signed. I actually only have like one signed book whatsoever. So and I was also reading these at an age I should not have been. So I would not have gone to any signing. But family tree. This one has a prologue. But nope. Question 24 is without looking, are there any page number designs? So like the best example I have is like Harry Potter where it has the page numbers and then like the three little stars next to the number. So let's look. 250. This is Melting Stones by Tamora Pierce. I'm gonna say yes. Nope. Not at all. Nothing. Just a blank number. Question 25 is, without looking, does this chapter header have a design? On 514. Another one of my Dear Americas about the Titanic. Yes? Guessing there's like a squiggly under the... Oh, well. The Sander is gonna be no because it's in a diary format. Nope. Question 26 is without looking are the acknowledgements in the front or the back and the next set of numbers is 633. Well, Assassin by Robin Hobb, second book in the Farseer trilogy. I have no idea. I'm gonna guess the acknowledgements are in the back. No, because it doesn't even have acknowledgements. Unless you count the four Ryan. Which I do, but that's in the front. Dang it. Question 27 is, without looking, what year is this book published? 157. I'm going to not get this one. Oh, say can you say? Bunch of riddles by Dr. Seuss. I read these a lot as a kid. Do I think they're published then is the question. I'm gonna say 1993. 1979. Wasn't even close. Wasn't even close. And last but not least is without looking what year did you read this book? Also not gonna get this right and I don't know if there's gonna be a correct answer because some of these I do not have on my Goodreads correctly. So let's look. 423. Well, this one has newer books on it, so I'm gonna say 2000 and 2008. <gasps> it was published in 2008, and if I am correct, and I read this the year it was published, which I'm pretty sure it is, because always I would not have bought hardcover. As you can see, I prefer paperback. Then I read it in 2008, and I got that. Well, that is the challenge. If you want to do this, feel free. Actually, I haven't seen a lot of people do it. It's really fun. Although, maybe have a fan because I'm hot. And like I said, I would really like to see, I don't know, Game of Tomes do this. I think it would be really interesting if they had to guess for each other's bookshelves. But I hope you guys had fun. This is going to be a lot shorter because this is currently 40 minutes and I'm not posting a 40 minute video. Hopefully down to 15, I can cut out all the long pauses and stuff like that. Well, until the next video, ta-ta for now!